How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get an American IP address using a VPN. Now, obviously, there are multiple ways of getting uh, of changing your IP address, but if we're talking reliable changing uh, of your IP address, you're going to want to use a VPN, um, especially if you're trying to unlock, um, maybe unblock uh, Netflix libraries or maybe trying to access the American market to buy some kind of software for a discount or something like that, or just trying to buy a game or any kind of geo-restricted activity. Um, plus, you know, obviously using a VPN is going to secure your online data and it's got much more, uh, many more benefits than just changing your IP address for Netflix or whatever. So yeah, uh, let's get straight into it. Again, you'll find links in the description down below. Uh, I'll be, if you want to find out about the more, more, more sort of like the features and benefits of each VPN, including Express, Nord and Surfshark, stick around till the end of the video. I'll mention reasons why you might want one over the other. So it's the same principle for every VPN, really. You can just go straight to your locations, select the uh, United States, select whatever state you want to connect to, and that's it. But, you know, what if you want to kind of understand uh, your, your VPN a little more? Um, let's say you're in a country where you're not supposed to, I don't know, maybe you're, you don't want your ISP to find out that you're uh, using a VPN. So this is what's cool about ExpressVPN is that it's got, even if you're using the automatic option here with protocols, it's still got uh, the obfuscation on by default. So that's really cool. You don't have to like worry about um, anything kind of uh, being exposed or anything. So your ISP won't be able to tell that you're using a VPN in the first place through the proprietary obfuscation tools, which is really cool. And if you don't want to revert back to your uh, ISP's monitored servers while using the VPN, the kill switch will make sure that your internet access will be severed in case your VPN connection drops, which is a rare case any, anyways. But yeah, in case it does drop, you won't revert back to your ISP's uh, monitored servers uh, so that, you know, they don't know what you're doing online or you keep everything encrypted. So you can just keep the kill switch on right here so that it severs your internet connection in case you, in case your uh, VPN connection drops for whatever reason. And, and one final thing to note here is that you want to make sure that this option is, is checked here. Only use ExpressVPN DNS servers while connected. And what this will do is that it'll make sure that you're only using your um, physical servers, the ExpressVPN physical servers. So no virtual servers, no uh, uh, rented servers. You're only using your the physical servers of ExpressVPN, which exist within the premises or, or server buildings of ExpressVPN. And... Uh, yeah, they'll only be accessible to uh, trusted ExpressVPN employees. That'll ensure maximum security and performance. So make sure you keep this on at all times. So that'll be it. You know, once you kind of have a bit of an understanding what, what your VPN can do, just go to locations and select whichever, you know, um, I guess whichever state is closest to you. In my case, the closest state to me would be New York. So I'll just connect to it and I should be good to go in just a second. And there we go. So yeah, took just a few seconds to connect. Sometimes, you know, it'll, depending on uh, your own location, it might take uh, a little more than five seconds. So yeah, that'll be it. Uh, and if you, by the way, if you wanna be able to connect kind of immediately, you can use the lightweight protocol, which will be, uh, much much faster when it comes to connecting to servers i recommend lightweight if you're trying to unblock netflix libraries by the way it, it in my experience it is the most reliable one so depending on your situation one of these vpns might be the best choice for you first of all expressvpn is the one to get if you just want to go with the best vpn overall express is at the top when it comes to security and privacy policy and this was proven in the andrei karlov investigation where the turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server and we're still unable to get any information out of it. It's one of the safest VPNs for torrenting as it includes a kill switch and it uses a military grade encryption to keep you safe and completely anonymous no matter what you're doing online. Express is also great for unblocking geo restrictions for Netflix and other streaming services. And it's literally one of the easiest VPNs to use, which is something they continue to win awards for, making Express a great choice for someone who's never used a VPN before. And finally, ExpressVPN's support is some of the best in the industry. They offer a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee, along with a 24-7 live chat support if you need any help. 
Now NordVPN would be a great choice if you'd like to save a few dollars but still get an amazing service. At times you can even get higher speeds than Express using the NordLynx protocol so you can say that at this point Express and Nord are rivals when it comes to speed. It's also one of the safest VPNs for torrenting with their peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers and unique app kill switch feature. In a lot of ways it's very similar to Express except for the fact that Express is more willing to be completely transparent with their audit reports. I would say that Nord may very well be as secure as Express, but the fact that Express was put to the test through the Karlov investigation makes it a win for Express in terms of privacy. But Nord does offer a double VPN feature which allows you to double the encryption, making your internet activity even more anonymous and secure. Nord also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, and just like Express, they have a 24-7 live chat support so that you can reach them at any given time. So Nord would be the best option for someone who prefers saving a few dollars but still wants a premium VPN experience. And finally Surfshark and this is the one you want to get if you want the best value because not only is it the lowest cost option on our list but it also offers you the ability to secure an unlimited number of devices simultaneously. It is currently the only VPN that does this. This makes it a great choice for anyone who has a larger household or you just need more than the five or six device connections that you get with Express or Nord. And just like Express it's very easy to use has excellent support and you can use it for torrenting or unblocking the most amount of Netflix libraries and other streaming media sites as well. So between these three VPNs, if you just want the arguably fastest but definitely safest VPN, you can go with Express. If specific features such as specialty servers and double VPN or dedicated IPs is something you're interested in, or you just want premium features and performance without having to spend as much as Express, go with Nord. Finally, if you prefer the most budget-friendly or best value option or if you want unlimited device connections and simply want to enjoy reliable unblocking of geo restrictions, then Surfshark would be the one to get. Again, I'll put links to all of these down in the description below and I'll include any of the best deals and discounts I can find that aren't available on their website. So feel free to take advantage of those if you'd like. But otherwise, hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.